let a b c d be a parallelogram the lengths of side a d and diagonal a c are 10 and 20 respectively the angle a d c is equal to 30 degrees with the area of parallelogram in square centimeter it's a nightmare of a question and i took a long time looking for a juicy method and i didn't find it and then i said look i'm going to brute force this i don't know if there is a more elegant method than the brute force method so i'm going to do it by the brute force method in case there's an elegant method please please do chip into us and so a b c d a b c d angle a a d c is 30 this is in look 30 we'll live with that a d and a c are 10 and 20 so this is 10 this is 20 and then the area of the parallelogram in square centimeters is this is 10 this is 10 right so we need to find area of the parallelogram so we need to find base into height we don't know the height i thought of using some trigonometry and finding the height there's no direct way if this angle were 30 brilliant half into half bc sine a we're finding the area and we are through it is not we have to find some other way of doing this we can find this using cosine rule somehow we can manage and find this side let's do that and so 10 square plus dc square minus 2 into 10 into dc into cos 30 equals 20 square this square plus this square minus 2 into product of these two into cos of this angle is that square cosine rule a square plus b square minus 2ab cos c is equal to c square we're plugging that in cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so 100 plus dc square minus 2 into 10 into dc into root 3 by 2 is 400 so dc square minus 10 root 3 dc equals 300 or dc square minus 10 root 3 dc minus 300 equal to 0 it's a nice equation we've got this luckily enough i can see this straight away and then say we get only one value for dc but the product of the root is negative one is positive one is negative so we don't have to worry about the negative root luckily we'll get only one value of dc if we manage to find that value of dc we're through we can then 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 simplify this 10 root 3 5 root 3 whole square uh, i can i can split this in terms of completion of squares 5 root 3 whole square is 3 into 5, 25 75 I can write this as plus 75 minus 75 and then it goes somewhere with that. I can simplify it like that. So I'm going to write this as dc square minus 10 root 3 dc plus 5 root 3 whole square equals 300 plus 5 root 3 whole square. This is dc minus 5 root 3 whole square equals 300 plus 75 dc minus 5 root 3 equals square root of 375 nice square root of 375 we can take a 25 outside this is 25 into 15 so dc equals 5 root 3 plus 5 root 15 nice so we've got dc by completing the square and all of that we know AD is 10. So area of this triangle is half into AD into DC into sine 30 into 2 would be area of the parallelogram. So area of the parallelogram would be half into 10 into 5 root 3 plus 5 root 15. Into sine 30 into 2 that's the number we're looking for half a b sine c for area of the triangle into 2 for area of the parallelogram this is a d this is d c we found d c by plugging in cosine rule a d was given half b a b sine c a b and sine of the angle in between into 2 that's what we do so this is a 5 this this get cancelled this is 10 into 5 root 3 plus 5 root 15 into 1 by 2 or 5 
into 5 root 3 plus 5 root 15 or 25 into root 3 plus root 15. Yep, this is here finally. <sighs> really complicated question, totally skip worthy. I don't understand what is being tested. We plug in cosine rule, find that side. And we plug in sine rule, find the area of the triangle. Multiply by 2, find the area of parallelogram. One out of n places where something can go wrong. Even the damn quadratic doesn't split naturally. So I, I saw the choices and I, I figured that, look, this involves some, some poking around with uh, sine rule, cosine rule. Simply not happy doing this question. <laughs> it's one of those brute force, not elegant uh, solutions. You gotta do it yes, so you do it. Sometimes questions are like this, where we put our head down and say, look, I'm gonna solve this through, no matter what. So that is what we end up doing. But from an exam point of view, skip for the, not worth solving. Hush.